things were going along pretty well. The Forest Service was busy planting up reverting hill country on the north bank. There had been quite a bit of uh, planting under the forestry extension scheme through Rye Valley and the northern part of Marlborough with some odd blocks in South Marlborough. And so if you took a journey from Renwick and were heading up towards the lakes, you'd go past the Bankhouse Station, there was some plantings there. Um, Ditchling Forest didn't exist at the time and I think you would come all the way up the valley and lots and lots of shelter belts and small woodlots in the um, toes of the gullies and some of the side valleys. So we've had a total change in the landscape in lots of respects. And I think you come up this far in Nauru and uh, in Lyle, um, Tasman Forestry, it was just starting and of course looking here today we're seeing the results of those earlier plantings. And 30 years ago, and I hate to say, it didn't seem that long ago in lots of respects. But travelling on up to what was the Jackson property, <coughs> the branch, no planting at all. You go from 82, and another year or two went by, change of government, and suddenly there was pressure, and the government of the day were looking at tax changes to forestry. And they basically, I think 87 was the last year where there was tax deductibility for forestry for private foresters and there was a rush of planting sort of 86, 87 to, uh, to, to get around those regulations. From 87 to 91, very limited amount of planting right throughout New Zealand it fell right away. In 91 we had a change of government and the tax deductibility was back on. And then in sort of 87, in the forest service world, of course, it was the demise. And uh, it was a major upheaval for the whole forest industry. And so today, coming up the valley, all of the north bank is more or less planted. There's still some pockets of land are available. And coming through, looking across to likes of Manuka Island, which we're going to go to next. Uh, Manuka Island was uh, purchased by um, Merrill and Ring in Green Crow at the time and is now under Maryland Rings ownership and that was all planted from 93 onwards and coming on to the south bank opposite Manuka Island and we'll see in a few moments the Jackson property, um, the branch forest, they were planted in 86, 87 so now we've got a forest industry 30 years on big expansion and harvesting about to take place um, it, it's quite amazing in some ways to be standing here and seeing the results of all those plantings from earlier days. And later on this afternoon we're going to see second rotation. So it struck me a couple of years ago going to a field day at Golden Downs where we visited, I think it was the third rotation site. And um, here was this roading infrastructure all in. They didn't have the big um, issues that we've got and costs that we have with roading into some of these uh, forests that are now being harvested um, and we, we are still quite some years behind what's the infrastructure in, in Marlborough compared with Nelson. So it's uh, certainly been interesting um, and at the moment there hasn't been a lot of new planting in recent years but we're always, uh, that's happened before, it'll happen again and I'm sure there'll be a lot more expense. We're going to see another threshold reached in the industry as uh, is more harvesting takes place and re-establishment. So the industry is growing, it's got teething problems, but uh, I don't see why it should be a pretty good industry in the future. Any questions?